This is Derek D. Reg Dixon, CEO of Rec Shop, and we in the personal suite with High Thoughts TV, man. It's about to go down. The smoke a personal suite with High Thoughts TV. I know what the fuck we doing, man. It's High Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beat, man. I'm smoking a personal suite with High Thoughts TV. So what's going down? Welcome to High Thoughts TV. Man, shit, it's all good over here, man. Just chilling, man. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Glad, so, to, glad to be here. For sure. We got another uh, major figure within the, the culture here with us today. So for the people that don't know, uh, let them know who we had a pleasure. Uh, yeah, I'm Derek, D-Rec Dixon, CEO of Rick Shop Records. Um, you know, like kind of founding my label. I'm working with a lot of artists out of Screwed Up Click, like Fat Pat, Big Mo, ESG. Uh, the films, Dirty Third, One, Two, and Three, and uh, yeah, that's me, right there. Yeah. So to break it down a little bit for everybody that don't know, where exactly, uh, where you from, and what was it like growing up for you? Man, I'm from Beaumont, Texas. Yeah. Uh, like I tell everybody, man, I, we, I grew up very, very poor financially, but very, very rich in love, you know what I'm saying? So between my grandparents, my mom and them, you know, nigga, you don't know how poor you are when you, as long as you got something to eat, some clothes on your back, somebody to rub your back for you and love on you, you know what I'm saying? So I did grow up like that. Um, small town though, but um, yeah, man. Um, shit, Beaumont Tech, you know, Be back then. Takes. Yeah, football, track, athlete type dude on that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's me. What school, uh, Ozan or where you, where you go? Westbrook. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I went to Westbrook, man. Yeah, a long time ago, yeah. uh, 87. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, right after I graduated, I left, you know what I'm saying? And I've been, you know, gone pretty much, you know, I ain't never left home. I'm always there. I got businesses out there and stuff like that. But, sure, sure. but uh, I've been, I've, I've been moved away and been trying to make a way. Yeah. Yeah. Got you. So uh, let's talk school. You know, you went to school in Beaumont and you said you grew up poor. Did this affect you within school or were you able to still focus? Was other things on your mind, you know, being an entrepreneur? Nah, man, actually I feed off of that. You know what I'm saying? I fed off of that as a kid. I don't know how my mind went like that, but that's where my mind went. You know, I remember seeing other kids that, you know, had more expensive clothes than me, tennis shoes, had things I, I, I didn't have. And, um, but I used to always tell myself, you know, that ain't theirs, that's what they mom and daddy bought them. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was like, yeah, if I make better grades than them, then I'm gonna have more money than them later. Yeah, and that's how I did that. I took that, and I took that, and made that fuel my fuel, man. So that you know, what I mean, to try to be uh, do my all, you know, like especially with my books and all that. That shit was important to me, sure, even sure. as a kid, as a kid. Sure. And today I see, you know, that you a you father of a college graduate. A lot of people don't yeah. they can't they can't wear that that stripe across them. That's that's major. So what's some things that you instilled into the family for them to get thus far? Man, I was the first one in my family, and that's counting brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, daddies, mamas, grandparents, and all that. I was the first one to get a college degree. Um, my brother was the first one really to go to college. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, he played pro football, so he didn't even stay there the whole time. So for me to graduate from college, man, that was a big thing. Then I went on. Uh, from there to uh, Clark, Atlanta, and got my MBA over there. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much when my son, he pretty much know he's gonna have to go to school, man. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, he embraced it. I'm proud of him for his accomplishments and what, you know, now he know he gotta fight for what he gonna wanna, wanna eat on out here. Right. Mm -hmm. So again, you out of Beaumont, Texas. We currently in Houston. Uh, what led to the move? To the what? From moving from Beaumont to... I didn't move here directly, man. I went to Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches. So I left a small city and went to a small town, yeah. you know what I'm saying, for college football. But it was a scholarship, you know what I'm saying? So you got to go where you got to go where it's free, you know? Right. And I played ball there. Um, I was there five years. And then when I, I, I left there, I came out here for about six months with a job. And then I... I took off and went to Atlanta, got in grad school. Yeah. And then that's that was like shit, 92 or something like that, 93, somewhere up in there, man. And then 
I was there from 93 till 97, 98. And that's when, during that time out there, that's how I got into the entertainment business.